Crypto Activator here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to continue on with the pancake swap predictions and share with you a simple strategy that you could use to get better predictions with the pancake swap prediction cards. So, if you find value in this content, remember smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and help grow this channel as well. If you have not yet subscribed, well, you know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. And remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research when it comes to crypto. All right, let's get started. Here we are on the Pancake Swap Predictions dashboard. And very quickly, down here at the bottom, you will see a simple chart. This is a chain link chart, okay? This is where Pancake Swap predictions is drawing the information from for these prediction cards. They are using Chainlink Oracle to get that information. It's a very simple chart, but if we click on trading view chart, now we get a warning that pops up and lets us know that the price that comes from two different places, okay? Chainlink's information for these predictions and then if we want to look at the trading view, it's getting information from Binance, okay? So they're a little bit different. It's just giving you a little bit of a, a warning when it comes to that. Now, looking at this chart down here, it's pretty, you know, pretty squished down, hard to really see, okay? Uh, I personally like to use the actual trading view chart. Go over to trading view. This is trading view. List what the indicators are, and then I'll show you how to use them. Okay, so I've got three indicators, and I believe with the free version of TradingView, you could use three indicators. Okay, the first indicator is RSI. Okay, now when the yellow line is above this red line in this upwards area, it means it's in a high, it's in a upward buying momentum. When it's below the red, which is the 50 line, by the way, it means it's in a selling momentum. Okay, so remember, trend is your friend. I'm always looking for trends, what I'm looking at. Uh, if I'm in an upward trend, I'm only going to take buying prediction cards. If it's below and we're in a selling momentum, I'm only going to take selling prediction cards. Make sense? I just have a better chance of winning if I play it that way. Okay. So all my indicators, these are all for really for what momentum are we in? And what's another confirmation of the momentum, right? So, our, and then the second indicators here, we got a, the yellow one is the nine moving average. It's a exponential, it's an EMA. So the nine EMA, okay, is what this one is. This indicator here, the green uh, shaded area, this is the super trend. It's, and when it's in a, it's in a down selling momentum, it has a red shaded area. Green shaded for upwards and red for down. Now, when you see when we are ranging, it's giving us both red and then green and then red, right? That's why I use all of these indicators, okay? And you could also see where it's at, right? So that's simple. Super trend, uh, moving average, EMA, and the RSI. That's three indicators. Now, the next indicator is actually candles. Okay, Heikenashi candles. What I'm looking, and this gives me more of an entry with these candles. Okay, so if we have stuff like this, wicks, and it's kind of like the doji, see this doji, it means it's about to change direction. Okay, so here's the strategy. We are looking first. Are we in the, on the super trend, are we in the green shaded area or the red shaded area? We are in the green shaded area, meaning we are in an upward trend okay next are we above the ema or below well we are we are above so we are looking for buys well, what about the rsi the rsi it is all above the red line so we are looking for buys every indicator is telling us that we are looking for buys right next we want to look at the candles okay we want to look at the heiken ashi candles Okay, for example, let's take a look at this. So we're waiting for this. It comes down, it's hitting against the yellow nine 
EMA, and we're still in the green upwards trend momentum, and we are also above the red down here. So we see this yellow, it comes down, it bounces here, this red one, and look, it starts to move up. But also it's still in the upwards uh, momentum, and then we are above here. What's this candle look like? It's what's called a doji candle. Wick going up, wick going down, and a little green bottom here. Means it's possibly going to change direction, so it probably will, from the red to the green. Okay. Now, when we get a candle like this, we want to take the next flat, uh, or at the close of the next flat bottom. Okay. So look at this. Flat bottoms, like this, mean a strong, there's no wick coming out at the bottom. We have a strong momentum for the upward direction. So once this candle is done and we see it still a flat bottom, we have got we want to take a prediction for the buy is what we want to do. Okay? So we take that. Now it could very well just teeter up because we're in the predictions. It could go below the locked in number by one point and you lose, right? However, our momentum is up so we have a stronger possibility of winning not losing we're not going to take a down momentum card or a sell card we're only going to take buys and as long as we have these flat bottoms like this we have a strong possibility of winning okay we could get a lose but we could still get our wins we're going to get more wins than losses in a going in a direction like this Okay, so that's why I take it on the next candle like that. Does that make sense? So that's a strategy. Uh, I wanted to make this really fast. And you look at this. Do you see your possibility of getting a win by only taking buys going up like this is very huge. Here, we could, we could, you know, it's this. When we look at these wiki type of candles like that. We're not taking anything. Even though we're in the green, even though we're above the yellow line, and even though we're above the RSI here, it's like, well, this should keep some, take some buys. No, because look at the candle. You see? That's why I say, when we are here, we want to only take, we, we, we're looking for, for buys, but we're now we're looking for the solid candle with the bottoms that will get us there. This one here, you see, it got this wick going out the bottom. Say, well, we're still upwards. We take this here. Well, look, this could have didn't have a lot of strength going in this candle, okay? So it could have lost. We probably would have lost on this one here. So does that make sense, right? So that's why I take it that way when it comes to these predictions, okay? So yeah, that's it. That's the strategy. It's really simple. Don't complicate it, right? Now, if you found value in this content, Smash that like button, drop me a comment down below, and you might possibly like this next video that's up over here. Go check it out. I'll see you over there. Have a great day.